Okay, we're going to talk about using the selection tools. There's multiple ways that you can select items within FTC. Uh, number one, up here on the left toolbar, simply click on the select icon. Just come to any area in the design that you'd like to select, left click, and it will select it. Uh, at this point in time, it opens up the properties box. You'll also see in the sequence view here that it opens up that color, shows you the stitch types utilized in that. You can click on any one of them, uh, any one of the areas within there, and you can now control in the properties box the stitch type, the underlay, the pull and push control. Uh, everything that we discussed in the earlier video uh, done in the properties box can be done here. Certainly, we will explore this more as we get into some of the editing with the different stitch types. Uh, there's another way that you can select uh, to, to click out of that. Just come out of the design, left click, and it will deselect. Uh, now, you can also lasso select. When you lasso select, and we'll go ahead and left click on that icon, simply draw a circle around the area that you want to edit. Uh, basically, any complete structure, and at this point, you right click. Uh, all of the items or all of the elements uh, held within what you circled with the uh, lasso select will now highlight and open up in the uh, sequence view. Uh, you can now come in and, and control that entire element. This would be like for size or that. Once again, though, if you want to work on any individual part of the structure, you need to come over here into the sequence view and click on the actual item that you want to work on. Then you'll have the individual item. So uh, the lasso select, while it, it's, it's very handy for uh, scaling, in my opinion, for deleting parts of, of images or, or aspects of a design that you want completely out of there, I probably use the lasso select uh, the least amount throughout the design. And my favorite way, really, to select is to simply come over to the sequence view, click on any color that you want, and then simply expand it by clicking on the plus sign. At that point in time, again, all of the elements within that color open up. I can literally, uh, total control yields you the ability to go into any selected item, any aspect, any satin stitch, any run stitch, any complex fill, and, and yields total control within the properties box and within the editing features on the software. Uh, truly, it is amazing. Uh, total control yields just what it says. Total control of your embroidery design. Uh, those are the selection tools. Let's move on.